Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a really fun and really exciting video for you today. I have got a Christmas gift thrift charity shop shopping exchange. <laughs> oh, that was smooth, wasn't it? So essentially, in this video, I have teamed up with my good friend Lara here on YouTube and we are going to give each other presents from the charity shop, we have a £20 budget each. I've been out to my local charity shop shopping for Lara. I'm going to insert some footage of that so you can have a look around the charity shops with me and keep your eyes peeled because in that footage, there's going to be a few things that I picked up for Lara, but you will have to go over to Lara's channel to see exactly what I got for her. And let me tell you, I think I did well if I do say so myself. I could have got it all completely wrong, who knows, because you never know with gift giving, do you? But it's all part of the fun. I won't give you any spoilers, but you'll have to keep your eyes peeled in the footage that I'm about to share with you and then head over to Lara's channel, which I will link in the description box down below. In case you're not already subscribed to Lara, definitely pop over there, subscribe and say hi from me. She does some brilliant videos. She does lots of things on a budget. She does lots of videos all about saving money, ways to save money. She's also in the process of looking for a house to buy. So there's lots of exciting things over there and she is just wonderful. I met her face to face, you know, in real life, not just on YouTube this year, which was brilliant. And yeah, she is just brilliant. So make sure you head over to Lara's channel and say hi from me if you haven't done so already. And if you've come over from Lara's channel, thank you so much for popping over. I hope you will stick around and enjoy my videos. It's good to see you here. Let me know in the comments if you have popped over from Lara's channel. So I've got Lara's parcel right here, ready to unbox with you, which I'm so excited about. So what we'll do is have a quick sip of the coffee We'll jump into a little montage of the charity shops when I went shopping for Lara. So keep your eyes peeled, see what you would have picked up for somebody as presents, and then we'll get unboxing this. Come on in, come on up, come on over for the merriest time of year. Come on up, come on in, get together for a good time, smile my dear. Come on in, come on up, come on over, we'll be dancing round the tree. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. Just like 
good gifts. If you fancy having a guest before you head over to Lara's video, if you haven't watched hers already, then you could always guess them down in the comments and then go and have a watch and yeah, see if you were right. Now it is time to unbox. I feel so excited. It is like Christmas morning. Sorry, the tape's a bit noisy. Get that off quickly. <laughs> and let's see what we've got. Ooh, there's a few parcels in here. Now we were sticking to our £20 budget, which actually can be quite a challenge in charity shops, depending on which ones you go to, because of course the prices can vary in the charity shops. I managed to pick up a few bits in the charity shop sale that I went to, so I got some real steals. But look how beautifully wrapped, whoops, all of this is. I love this star wrapping paper. And we have some holly, which looks like it has been picked fresh from the garden. This is so exciting. Which one should I start with? I feel like, you know when you unwrap a present with somebody and they tell you which one to start with? I think they normally say to start with one of the smaller ones, don't they? Or one of the bigger ones. Let's start with the biggest one. <laughs> In fact, before we do that, I'm going to take a snap of these for Instagram because they look so nice. Oh. And avoid getting cramp. And we have put the prices on the packets just so that we can share with you how much things have cost when we pick them up from the charity shops. So I said I would start with the biggest. So let's do that. And here it is. And let's see what the price is. It doesn't say it on the wrapping paper, so it might say it inside let's see what we've got oh hello i like the look of this oh this is lovely we have this very nice check shirt and you might well know that i do love a check shirt size large and this is really lovely quality it's this burgundy color and then we've also got some gray and white in there oh if you've watched lara's video already you might know I picked up something similar for Lara. I wonder if she liked that. I wonder if that was a hit or not. We shall find out. By the way, when I see Lara's video, that will be the first time that I find out if she likes what I picked up for her. So I'm very excited to watch it. So this is from a brand called Samuel Windsor and it's a size large and that is so nice. I will definitely get loads of wear out of this. In fact, I might wear this out to something this weekend, and that'll be lovely. Nice piece to layer up with too. I can wear it as a bit of a bit of a jacket, or I can wear it underneath a coat. Lovely, so far so good. Thank you, Laura, if you're watching. Right, next up, let's go for this one, which is £2.50. I don't know what the price of the shirt was, but I might just not be looking properly. Oh, it is on here. <laughs> I missed it completely. It was £7.50 for the shirt. And next up, we have this present, which was £2.50. Let's have a little look. Are you somebody that saves wrapping paper, or do you just rip it open? I quite like saving it. Oh, wow. Oh, this is perfect for me. In fact, I'm filming this video quite early in December. I'm actually filming this video on the 1st of December. So I'm gonna put this to good use. Lara, this is brilliant. This is a paper chase Christmas planner. That is such a good idea. So we have a list for gifts, then we have cards, and that's great because it has the address section in. So I don't know about you, but I don't send loads of Christmas cards anymore. But the ones that I do send, I tend to send every year and it would be handy to have it all in one place. And I could keep this with the Christmas decorations and then write in the regulars who get their Christmas cards. And then we've got a meal planner. Love that idea. So I can have a little think about what I'll be popping into the old trolley. And then we've got a notes section too. Brilliant. And the notes section would be handy to jot down maybe any recipes and that sort of thing or ideas that you've got that you want to try out at Christmas time. And then we have a list at the back with stars to tick off, which is always so satisfying. I do love a planner and a notebook, so I love that. I'm going to keep it with all my Christmas stuff, get myself organised. So yeah, it's all got time. <laughs> if you do things like Christmas presents, how are you getting on? Got any yet? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. So next up, this is £2.50. I was getting straight in there. I didn't even show you the parcel. Sorry, I'm getting too excited. Getting ahead of myself. Oh, this is very me as well. Lara knows me well. This is a Home Inspiration by Yankee Candle Merry Mint Chocolate Wax Melt Cubes. That is fantastic. It is festive and right up my street. I do love my candles and my melts. 
as you can see behind me, big fan of a candle and a melt. <laughs> Sounds funny saying you're a fan of a melt, doesn't it? Anyway, we'll move on. <laughs> love that one. Next up we have this, which is three pounds. I love this wrapping paper too, so nice with the stars on it. And also, I should point out as well as holly, there is berries on the paper too. What a nice touch to add the real holly and the berries. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, this looks intriguing. It's in bubble wrap, so I've got a feeling this might be a little bit fragile. I've got no idea what this is. I thought it might be a mug, but there doesn't appear to be a handle on it, so it's not a mug. Oh, I think I know what this is, but I've forgotten what you call them, but I love them. <laughs> what do you call these things? I've completely forgotten. It is a decorative piece. That's what I'm gonna call it for the time being. You'll let me know in the comments, I'm sure. How nice is this? Is it an artichoke? I absolutely love that. And I do like gold pieces for the home. It would actually look really nice just on this trunk. It also look quite nice in a bowl with some pine cones, maybe some satsumas, that sort of thing at this time of year. Absolutely love that. Oh my goodness, this is brilliant. It's amazing what you can pick up at the charity shops, isn't it? Okay, we have two presents left. Which one should we go for? This one, this one. Unfortunately, I can't hear you, so <laughs> I'm going to decide. I'm going to go for this one. I'm gonna save the smallest one till last. So, the price on this one is three pounds. And, let's have a little look. Ooh, it's in a tin. Oh, wow, hey, this is good. This is a Bayliss and Harding gift set. I have seen loads of great things in the charity shops that you can pick up as gifts for people. I think a lot of gift sets do end up in charity shops, so it's worth having a little look in them because you can pick up some really good bargains. And that for three pounds is really good, isn't it? So you've got a beard wax in there, ginger and lime, and there's a body wash, a cleansing soap and a beard balm as well. Let me give it a little sniff for you to see what it smells like. It looks really nice, doesn't it? Fuzzy duck. You've got to be careful how you say that, don't you? <laughs> you say it a few times, you end up saying something completely different. <laughs> that I won't be saying on YouTube. Oh, that is lovely. Nice and fresh with the lime and the ginger. Okay, moving on to the last one. This has been so much fun. I absolutely love it. I hope Lauren likes her presents. We shall find out. Okay, next up. The last present is this one and it was £1.50. Let's see what we've got. Ooh. Oh wow. Oh I love this. This is so cool. You may know that I really like my autumn decor for the home, which didn't actually go away that long ago. I feel like December just suddenly arrived, didn't it? Anyway, it's all put away in the cupboard over there but I absolutely love it. And this is a really nice little decorative piece. So we have this oak leaf made out of clay and then it's glazed inside. How nice is that and how unique is that? You could actually use this as a soap dish as well. So if you're one of those people that goes seasonal all throughout the home, which to be honest, I happily would be. I don't always get around to it, but when I was in the US, I did see seasonal soap dispensers, which I thought were an absolute vibe. So you could <laughs> go seasonal in the bathroom with this too, but you could also use it in the kitchen, couldn't you, to put tea bags in. But things like this, I just like to use as decorative pieces. I absolutely love that. I think Lara has absolutely nailed it. It's all so up my street. So thank you, Lara, for being so thoughtful with my gift. Yeah, this has been really good fun. I actually highly recommend any of you may be doing this, you could do it as a secret Santa, so you could maybe just have a budget of five to 10 pounds each and make it that it has to be from a charity shop. You could do it with a friend or a family member and say this year you want to try something different and see what you can get each other from the charity shops. I really like this because I feel like it makes you really think about the person that you're buying for because everything in charity shops is usually quite unique pieces. You know, when you go into a normal store, there's all these pre-packaged gifts, isn't there, which is very easy to buy for people. But I find that when you shop at the charity 
charity shops, you have to really put the thought in and have a think about what it is that they would like and have a good rummage and hopefully find some amazing bits like all of this stuff. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, now is the time to pop over to Lara's channel, make sure you subscribe, say hi from me and see what I picked up for her and yeah, I'll be interested to hear your thoughts and also whether you spotted anything in the vlog footage and you were correct in guessing what I would have bought for Lara. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have popped over from Lara's channel, thank you again so much for popping over. I hope you enjoyed the video too. But yeah, that's it. Thank you again to Lara for all of my amazing presents and for collaborating with me on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I am now off to go and start filling out my new Christmas planner, get myself nice and organized. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.